wanted to share with you guys the prototypes <clears throat> that I made last night. These are prototypes for the healing center. These Oregon energy devices help you get back to yourself. It clears all of the toxicity that is going on around you. Hola, Tammy Ami. And it, um, <clears throat> it clears all the toxicity and it helps you think clearly. It helps you detach from everything that is not serving your highest good. Each one is unique and yes, it has a visual effect, but the energetic effect far supersedes what it looks like. But these are what's necessary so that people could disconnect from the matrix, from the ideas that they are limited um, from poverty consciousness. All of these things are important and it's something that <clears throat> that everybody has to do on their own. But I know that it's, it's, it's difficult because we live in a society where we're constantly being bombarded with toxicity through all forms. What you eat, GMOs, by what is your television, um, whether it's what you're watching or just the digital pollution that it emanates and comes in your home. Smart meters, power lines, all of these things are emitting toxic energy. And that's what's causing the illness, that's what's causing the cancers, and that's what's causing the loss of mind. People have been under a strict manipulation for a very long time. And things are now being done to remedy that, to transform that. This politics, okay, so they got, they doing Donald Trump and Hillary, both ridiculous ass candidates, right? And they're showing you everything, every reason why, um, you know, they shouldn't even exist in office. It's a joke. They're, they're showing, they're showing people exactly how far they can get and the puppets and the sheep are going to do nothing but follow. They're going to follow something because they don't believe enough in themselves to know that they are the currency, that they are what creates a difference in all societies, is the people. It's not the ones that are so-called ruling or running it. Hola, Tracy. Hola, Anicia. Hola, Daryl. So there are some really exciting things happening. What you guys are looking at right now, these are prototypes for what's going to be in the healing center. So I'm no, no longer selling batteries. You guys can make a donation to the, to the GoFundMe. Um, but the, the, the healing center is in effect. It is in effect. It is happening, ache, to the ancestors and to, you know, all of the energies that have created for this to be a possibility. Okay, so I'm going to show you some power pieces. Okay, so everybody knows what this is. This is the Ankh. There's a reason why when people, specifically people, um, richly melanated people that are connected to their roots in Egypt, they see this symbol and it immediately resonates with your soul. You know what it means. You know what it is. You remember. It helps you remember. And so when you put a symbol like this into a device like this, you're amplifying all of the energy of the symbol. So when a person has something like this, what happens is it starts to poke at your memories. It starts helping you remember past lives and things that you know and your gifts, your knowledge that is it's all, your truth. So the redness that you see back here this is addition, uh, additional scalar energy. This energy is very powerful. So having a device like this will protect you from all EMF, um, toxic 
energy, any kind of energy. It's a multidimensional energy that moves faster than the speed of light. It is highly healing. And so when people enter the Oregon Energy Self-Healing Center, they're going to be able to go inside and just by sitting there, they're going to receive healing. Mind, body, soul, and spirit is going to do something to you. It's going to help you find your truth, not my truth, not religion's truth, not somebody else's truth, your own truth. And you will know what that is by the way that that feels. Hola, Harmony. Okay, let me go back and see what y'all are saying. Okay, I need one from you. I need others, but yours is infected with good energy. I know it. Ache, ache, ache. It is, it really is the energy of the ancestors that come through me. When I started working with Oregon Energy, I had no idea what was going to happen in my life. I had no idea what direction I was going to be taking. I had no idea that this is what I would be doing. And every time that I make them, it's like, I know it's not, it's not me. In, in the way that you make Oregon, you know, you start from the, bo- from, you know, the first layers in the bottom. So I never really see, you see, once it's covered up, you don't know what it looks like on the other side until it comes out of the mold. So I look at what they've put together through me and I'm like, oh, that's, that's pretty dope. Because every stone has a different metaphysical healing property. And depending on the amount of stones that are inside or the different formulas that that's within it, and I have quite an extensive formula to my pieces, um, but depending on what's in it, and don't mind my fingernails, y'all, because I'm, I'm trying to still get this resin out of my fingernails. Anyway, um, yeah, as, as pretty as they look, it's not a clean job at all. I wanted to show you guys this one. And um, so all of the elements inside of the piece, Ola Adi, are going to be, you know, they're going to be magnified. And it's, it's multidimensional energy. So as soon as even seeing it is healing. So imagine, imagine it being, you know, with you all the time okay so it's important for you guys to know that what is happening on the outside is a reflection of what you believe so the sooner you're able to get away from the media get away from um you know the the internet has turned into the media right you know it's like the same thing you're seeing the same thing everybody's seeing the same things um facebook when you're on facebook Be on it for a purpose, for a reason. Don't allow yourself to get sucked into anybody else's bubble, to anybody else's business. You know what I mean? I mean, I I, I already know what what Facebook is and what it does, and I know what it's connected to. And once again, I will say that I I will not be connected to this platform for long because the Healing Center, what I'm talking about, people healing themselves, is some powerful information with some powerful truth. With um, uh, you guys remember Dr. Savi Ache, Dr. Savi, you know they they're coming for anyone who is not um, who is like involved in the matrix in some form and is wanting to help people. So there are going to be bridges, but these bridges are not going to be part of any social media. These bridges are going to be created through the people through the people that connect to it. And through those people is how all of these things are going to manifest. And it's not a whole bunch of people. Like when you look at the masses and you start looking at those numbers like that, you're looking at the result of a world that has been created in that energy, in that spirit. So that's, it's like a monster. So people think, oh, we're going to get all our people together and we're going, you know, we're going to fight. We're going to get all the guns. We're going to go there. We're going to take over. We're going to vote some black people into office. We're going to blow. Man, shut up with that. Come on now. That has been happening since like forever. That will not change. It will never change. The only thing that's going to change is you. And when you change, you see how everything around you change. And then you continue with that because this is about creating something new. Don't know why I be. I don't want to be part of that old shit. That what they're doing. 
Somebody told me, somebody told me that if I give them one of my pendants that they will have celebrities wearing them. Do you think that I want celebrities wearing my work? I don't. This is for people who are ready to face their truth. And a lot of these celebrities, unfortunately, are part of the matrix. You're either in or you're out. I know y'all seen that in Project Runway. <laughs> so you can't make, you know, you can't be dangling like being like, oh, I'm going to be over there with these people, with these secret societies, but then I'm going to bring, you know, some people into consciousness. And no, if you know what it is, you know what it is. And it's about creating something new. No matter how scary it looks, of course it's scary to do something new. You ain't never done it before. Change is crazy. It's necessary, but it's always hard because it's something that you've never done before. Now you got to step into it. So no, it's not for everybody because there's a lot of people that are, you know, that are overcome by their fears. They're paralyzed by their fears. And it's more comfortable to believe what they have been believing since the beginning of time than to have a whole new perception of life. That does take courage. I wanted to show you guys one that this is a snail shell. It was vacant, so I didn't kill the snail to use the snail shell. And um this is life. When you start looking at nature and you see what it does, you see the incredibleness and the uniqueness of what it is. And then you just got to remind yourself that, yep, that's me. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Ache 13. These were all done in honor of my ancestors. This right here actually says the word Daphne in Egyptian if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Anisia, you are fabulous. Somos todos fabulosos. Um So there are all I feel a lot of you guys that are that are here are part of this vision, have been supporting this vision, and I can't wait to share with you some of the things that are happening. I've talked about I've talked about some things before, but I'm telling you, when when the universe says it's time for something to happen, it will happen. It will happen and there is I mean, it is um <laughs> You know, when people always think about miracles and they're thinking about, oh, miracles never happen or dreams don't come true. And, you know, but whatever you want to happen will happen if you believe enough in it. You know, like Disney didn't make themselves Disney by using no bullshit ass lines like they gave you some truth. They just manipulated the hell out of it and got, you know, all kinds of pedophilia and, and things going on with your kid's brain, introducing them, traumatizing your children sexually. You know what I mean? But they're using the, they're using the magic. They're using um, the words of the ancestors. They're using um, the formulas, but they are manipulating them. And it has created what we exist in now. But these things do work, and there is a way to work with nature, and there's a way to communicate with other beings that you're not able to see. You know, some people call them angels, some people call them deities, some people call them gods, whatever it is, it's an energy that has been put here on the planet so that you can recognize what you derive from, what you are connected to. And somebody in their lifetime, see, this is why they make churches, y'all. This is why religion came into play. Because the powers that be knew that at some point in your life, you are going to want to connect with the all, with your creator. And there is always a tugging inside of every individual that makes them say, oh, I think I need to go to church. Or let me go find, you know, that, that God. Let me go seek, seek it somewhere, you know. So they know 
that each individual that's that's what you're already born with you come here knowing that but then they make you forget so you forget but when you start to remember oh they got something for you they got a little church right here over here in the corner real convenient to your house so you can come there and get programmed on what they want you to believe i'm not going to speak much more about that because you guys already know it you know this is a time of Revelation, like everything is already seen. Everything is already known. So y'all already know. So I'm just here to tell you to follow your truth. Follow your soul. Did y'all meditate today? Remember the song? Meditate every day no matter what. Hola, Terry. Meditate every day no matter what. That's how you're going to start getting your connection with sources when you meditate. You got to just release everything from your mind. Release everything that's outside of you. Focus within. And the Oregon energy, and you guys can make these yourself. It's metals, crystals, metals, and resin. They are expensive to make because you got to get your stones, you got to get your metals, you got to get, you know, your, 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 your things. But it's worth it. It's worth the investment to make them because once you have them, your energy exists within it i've created something that now has my dna and my energy in it so everyone is able to do this and if you have these around your home you're making your home an organ portal that's protected from emf radiation and digital pollution and negative ass people don't know negative people come around me not ever mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. they will turn the other way they will walk away. They will get the hell out of Dodge, but they ain't coming near me. Not no body, not no energy, not no evil demonic spirits. You know what people, you know, it's funny because evil demonic spirits are really the challenging, intense energy that comes into your life that forms into different things. It could be a person. It could be a situation. It could be whatever it is. And I'd be crushing them. Like, I crush them all day long. Mostly with my words, you know, follow it up with some action. But I know I could sit here all day and show you guys the entire collection. Oh, but what I wanted to show you was the one that I made. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where are you? This one has a pine, this one has a, um, a little pine cone thingy in it. Hola, Chris. Chris Tiles. I was talking about you, Chris Tiles. I was thinking of you. Oh, here it is. 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 Okay, so this one is a solution and I were walking yesterday because then when I when um when I went to go make these pieces, the resin that I had had gotten already really stiff. So I had to go to Michael's, and Michael's resonance is not cheap. So we went, at first we were going to ride bikes to Michael's, and then the flat it was a flat tire. The car wasn't here, so we had to walk. So we walked over to Michael's, and on the walk back, this leaf right here is from a, um, a cherry tree. It's from a cherry tree, so it was really, really maroon, really dark. But when you put it in the resin, it'll lighten up so it turned this color, which is not, it's not so bad at all. But what's inside of this is also the, um, well, there's gold in it. This one glows in the dark. It has galena. It has satellite for the brain. Um, and it has the scalar technology, the scalar, the red scalar cloth in here. Very, 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 very powerful. So, um... So, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that. And, again, these are prototypes for the healing centers. The healing centers are going to exist all over the world. So if you know me, you're going to be able to connect to them. Um, we're going to be up and going in 2017 is when we're going to start, um, begin the construction. So uh, I'm very, very excited. So I'm not going to be available to create this last batch that I did was the last batch that I made and I am letting some of them go 
um, through the through the healing center. If you're if you make a donation to the healing center, um, the minimum donations to get a pendant and to get uh, mini chi generators are one hundred and eleven dollars. So that's what it is. And um, at the Oregon Energy Self Healing Center, I will be teaching classes on how to make the Oregon Energy batteries in the formula that I use, in the way that I make them. It is functional healing art, so um, we're going to be needing lots and lots of people that are interested in learning how to make it and are wanting to connect to this because the whole world needs it, not just in this level, but in major levels where homes are being created by these materials. Um, you know, so, and there's ways to make it where, you know, I like my pieces to be visual. I had, I had a reason for doing them this way, but there are lots of pieces that, are, that work tremendously and they just have aluminum and a crystal quartz grid inside and, um, and the resin and, you know, different elements, but it doesn't have to be pretty to work. So just so that you guys know, if you get into making them, you can Google how to make them. I also have a blog about it on OregonEnergyBatteries.com. And um, some of you guys have already gotten into making them, and I'm so proud of you, and I'm so excited. And you better believe that I will be using your pieces at the healing center. We're going to be needing as many as possible. And so um, my graduation of what this vision is has taken me away from making the pieces and now I'm focused on building the um, the healing center so I thank you all so much for supporting me and I, I'm gonna still be on here for a little bit at least till about the end of the year and then I'm gonna be all over the place so I'm gonna be checking in but if you guys don't find me anymore you guys will know where to go the healing center this one I wanted to show you guys I use um tourmaline quartz so these black lines that you see here are mixed in with crystal quartz and it's a I got this stone in Jerupa in Southern California and it was gifted to me and I broke it up and it was I mean I'd never seen anything like it before but I know but of course this stone exists I just have to find some more of it and I also put in here the cowrie shell for those of you that are familiar with Santeria and the Orishas, um, and even just Africa, knowing that back in in the day, cowrie shells were used as money in Africa. And cowrie shells are known to be the mouth of the Orishas. So, um, and Elegua, the Orisha Elegua, um, it always reminds me of him, so. So yeah, all right, so I'm going to skedaddle. Hola, Nicola. And there will be, and I am speaking this now, Ache, to the ancestors and to all of the divine energy that has been assisting and continues to assist. Um, there will be an Oregon Energy Self-Healing Center in the UK. There will be one in Africa. There will be one in Amsterdam. There will be one in Canada. There will be one in Australia. There will be one in Spain. There will be one in Mexico. And as I'm saying this, I am I'm telling y'all, wherever you are, if you, if you are ready to find yourself and you want to do this work of creating a new world for humanity, thinking in the most, I mean, just in the grandest forms possible, things that you thought could never, like if you can just get out of the limited mindset and think of a world that you would want to live in and you feel that you could be a part in the creation of that, get at me, get at me, get at me. I think you guys know that I like to sing. Oh, 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 oh. okay, I want to show you guys this one. And I know y'all got things to do. I don't expect y'all to hang out. Oh, and I meant to tell you about the one. My daughter gave me a, um, a flower. And I put it inside the organ. And this is something that you guys could do with your families. Putting your, your DNA and putting your energy inside organ devices is extremely powerful. I cannot tell you enough 
this is how the ancestors communicate this is how the egyptians have communicated and have been able to bring up their legacy so strong in 2016. Um, but this one has a has a serpentine in it this is another rare stone that i found i don't know if you guys could really see it that well um, but it's green and it has little spots on it so that's serpentine all right okay so i'm gonna go back and tell you the story of the one that my daughter gave me yesterday because i knew that yesterday was going to be a very um intense day for me in creating this is my last batch and i'm celebrating my graduation to manifesting the Oregon Energy Self Healing Center. So um, she gives me a dandelion and then she gives me the one, you know, the little white ones that you blow and you make a wish. So I made the wish and I, I, she actually has the other one and I put it inside the Oregon and I put the dandelion that she gave me because of course I knew that this wouldn't last forever. So I put it in the Oregon, and so it lasts forever. And then I had a little shell that, um, that I found, and I know that represents life. So there it is. And this is a key. Uh, a P oh, and it has the scalar wave energy in there too. And it glows in the dark. So this is definitely something for my personal, you know, private collection. But yeah, so I just wanted to, oh, 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 I forgot to share with you guys the Infinionaire. These are the Infinionaire gems. And Infinionaire is a person that attracts wealth infinitely because they live in their passion. So I had to make something in honor of that, in homage to that knowing. And this is the Infinionaire symbol. And they're all different and they're going to be wrapped and I'll show them to you guys once they're wrapped these are also dedicated to to the um to the building of the oregon energy self-healing center so these are going to those of you that are making uh the donations at the gofundme the infinionaire gem this is you yep this is part of what you are oh oh and i had to show you guys i made these little, look at how little teeny tiny these are. They're the cutest things ever. They could be earrings, but I made them pins so that, because we get a lot of, um, a lot of babies, babies are coming. And so we want to make pieces um, that the children could wear, the little star seeds. So, you know, I made them stars. So these are for the little star seeds. You can put them in their hat. You could put them on their, you know, some of them, be rocking pacifiers so that you can just pin this on the pacifier um, so that it's with them all the time and like these little generators are good for the baby's crib like if you put them if you put if you put it under the baby's crib so we're definitely making we're working on making mobiles mobiles made out of so I've been you know, working on making light things so that they could be on a mobile and not be too heavy. So those are the things that are going to be coming. Those are the projects that we're working on at the Healing Center. So that's all I'm going to say. Gracias, everybody, for tuning in and hanging out with me. Don't forget to meditate. Meditate every day, no matter what. Even if you got to sit and go to the bathroom at work, meditate every day no matter what 13 minutes 13 minutes is all it takes for you to meditate and start changing your life all right that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say adios love yous